Guys, we got the best deck in the room. We got Mr. Esa Torres. And what deck did you play? I played Two Limits. Best deck. <laughs> best deck, best deck. All right, well. Let's get into it. Without further ado, um, <laughs> let's get into it. Uh, first things first, I do want to give out some shout outs. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, go right Shout out to Tapio Cards for the mats. Um, and um, these awesome accessories like field set pillars, uh, tokens, all that stuff. Honestly, one of the coolest places that actually really care about their product. You should definitely go check it out. All right, also one more shout out. Uh, my team, Illustrious Illusions. Uh, TCG on Instagram. Check us out on uh, on Instagram. And Ryan and the crew over in Card Addiction. All right, guys, ready to go. All right, let's get on into it. All right, so the only hand traps I played were three Ash Blossom. I felt like this was like uh, enough to warrant uh, playing against Branded, and just a really good like hand trap to draw into. I didn't feel like I wanted to play anything else. I felt like this was also perfect and to go you know, go into the little Baron lines. This was like the, the perfect card um, that I just wanted to play for only just hand traps in this deck. Aside from, you know, Tillman cards being hand traps themselves. Mm -hmm. Next to the Tillman cards, three round of heart, one, one, one. I really wish that we could play more, but <laughs> we can't really. Three Tillman's Kastura. This card is the name of the game of this deck. I'm trying to always, every turn, like mill five with, with this card alone. If I can get this um, along with the planet uh, or the Kastura cards, a lot of times. It'll pop off and it'll, it'll start, the deck will start exploding. Next two are just the Fenrir's to complete the, the Tillamans and the Kastura portion of the deck. Then the Honorary Tillaman card. It's basically her, which is not bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Diviner. This card literally says Send Agido, Send Kalbeck, plus to Infinity, make a Baron. If this resolves, a lot of times I'm pretty positive I'm winning this game. This card is absolutely disgusting. Uh, then you have your small, your Ishizu package. And then the small little package I play for the, the shell package, in case I mill them, is one, it's really good at allowing me to make Mud Dragon, and also, Shadal Wind is also part of my end board a lot of times. The free draw is really nice. It's drawing me some crazy cards this tournament. Alright, now moving on to the spells. Three Planet. And then the honorary wannabe planet with the terraforming. This is the five build spells. Uh, don't want to go anymore. Any less. Um, the one was perfect enough. Next, we're on to the tournament spells. Two Scream, one Heartbeat. So, a lot of people don't play this card. I think Heartbeat's really, really good for one, having spell and trap removal that's not just the field spell, but also this card is being able to add back um, Solik and or Crime, which, spoiler, I'm playing Crime. Um, just allows you to have a really, really strong end board going into um, going into your end phase. Uh, a lot of times, adding Solik is really, really good, and a lot of times, if I end up having, really having Solik, uh, I can search crime comfortably while this adds whatever whatever other piece I don't have. Uh, next is two talents, the one foolish, the one poly. Okay, and now moving on to the final cards, the, the traps, the, the two Tillman Solics and the crime. The crime is really good at adding back whatever I banish off Tillman's Kashira. A lot of times I end up banishing um, Tillman's Kashira with itself, so that um, I can go ahead and summon in mill, but. This card, allows, if this gets milled, allows me to add back that card so I can have follow-up for the next turn to mill three again on their turn. So honestly, this is really, really good. Ending the, ending the board with a Crime, plus like a Dweller, a Rukalos, and or one more Fusion, literally just wins you the game by itself. Any reason you didn't play Meta Noise? Meta Noise, I don't really feel like Book of Moon is really that good. I mean, I guess it's good against the Kashira, but I didn't really, really care about Meta Noise that much, aside mm -hmm. from... I guess you can add back from the grave, but you didn't really care about adding back from the grave a lot of times. Uh, it also gets it loses to Ash Blossom, which I'm not trying to lose to Ash Blossom. Yeah, because that's a center from the deck, yep. Yeah, center from the deck is pretty sad. Now moving on to the extra deck, the one Rukalos, the one Clyde Heart. Um, <laughs> these are must play. Made this like every time. This is every, every every end board. This guy is amazing. That guy is Polly, wild. Polly into this guy. Oh my god, it saved me so many games. It's, yeah, it's like an FTK when that guy comes out. When this guy comes out, you know this is game's over. Uh, then you play the Griffin, uh, part of the end board a lot of times. Uh, Mud Dragon, he's a lot of times used to either, one, be a dweller, or mm -hmm. if I'm playing against a specific matchup where targeting is big, this guy go this guy plays really hard into those matchups. Uh, the Dragon Sapelia, this is only realistically a shuffle any one of these back a lot of times so that I can get another monster on the board. And surprisingly, its interaction happened pretty frequently against Sprite. Um, then the window. If I can end on this, I will almost always try to. Especially if I have the field spell up. If I have this field spell up, and I have this, and I have shufflers in my grave, a lot of times this just says it's, the game's over. Yeah, it's too big to get over. It's too big to get over 27, and plus, 
You got, you got. Yeah, you got to shovel back the pop. Yep. You got to shovel back the pop. So there's not really much that they can do. That cards are really nuts. And now going to extra deck the Dweller, the Baguska, the Redoer, the the Zeus, and the Draco Sack for the coat play. So for the final three cards from the extra deck, it's going to be one Sherbini, one Sprint, and the last card is Baron the Foot. So that completes the extra deck. Now moving up to the side deck that I chose. I ended up playing some Bestials. I didn't really end up going against Brandon as much as I thought I was going to. And for the, the, the case that I ended up, up running into the mirror, which I didn't expect at all, this deck is... Um, this deck I didn't think was going to be as popular as it was in, in like the upper tables. So that's interesting. I could have ran into one in the final round. Unfortunately, didn't. Because I was really prepared for that mirror. Otherwise, there's three Troll, three Nibiru. This card was always in games two and three on almost every round. And then just Dark Rulers, Harpies, and two Cosmics to complete it. The deck, overall, I'm happy. I'm so I'm so excited that I was able to bring this here all the way straight from California. It was an amazing experience. Philadelphia, amazing. I love this. Alright, thank you.